what is up guys Zam from the Zam Madden YouTube channel and we all hate RPO bubbles listen I get it they're annoying no matter what it is you're dealing with whether it's pistol bunch a shotgun bubble RPO with the receivers and the running back on the same side so you can't use her correctly an under center stretch alert bubble this tip here today is going to help you guys with countering those plays because I'm going to give you guys a few adjustments that you guys can use specifically with your slot defender and some adjustments that will help it make a little bit more sense with the outside corner here on this play so let's go straight into a formation that is lauded as one of the harder to defend rpos in the game and that is going to be the gun trio halfback we rpo alert bubble now some players will tell you set your zone drops to zero i've used that tip before in the past but i'm gonna tell you that your alignment matters more than anything on this tip so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to call cover four quarters because it's got the slot corner in a quarter flat we're gonna change this into a hard flat here momentarily so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off uh, the first thing with this is I don't like to base align. So if you're in a base align defense against an RPO demon, you want to go ahead and on base align. This is going to give you better numbers. Everyone's going to walk out, give you the mathematics that you need three on three to the wide side of the field. But here is the thing. A lot of players don't know this, but you need your players that are impacting the flat to be able to work in space. So what we're going to do is we're going to shade our quarter flat down. After all, this is four receivers to one side of the field. So match doesn't matter anyways. And we are going to individually back up that corner and that's going to back him up to a spot where he's going to be able to play the hard flat from depth now here is the key to this notice how the outside corner on this play is in off alignment as well i can actually still throw this ball and have a pretty good chance at getting a stop but it will actually only help you if that outside corner is rolled up a little bit closer we were benefiting from this a little bit here you see that that hard flat backed off split the two blockers and made a hit in the backfield that's exactly what we're looking for but there is sometimes a chance that megatron number 81 on the far left is going to be able to pick us up in that hard flat if that's the case that is where this second tip is going to come in and before we get to that second tip if you guys could do me a favor make sure you guys subscribe to the channel give the video a like drop a comment below to help push it out to reach other madden players looking for tips and tutorial content what the help this channel grow that is the best way to do so and i really appreciate all the support you guys have given me so again we want that hard flat we're going to go ahead and shade our coverage down here on this we're going to make sure we're not base aligned that's going to help a lot we're going to back up that player but you can also press the outside player. This will help significantly. Now, if you're worried about lob streaks out of this, I totally understand. You may wish to go ahead in whatever defense you're in and roll your coverage to give you a little bit of extra help. But in terms of the RPO on this, this is gonna do a really good job because we're gonna have not only Ronnie Lott in the backed up hard flat being able to work in space, but we're also going to make sure that Megatron can't block him. So when we go to snap this ball and throw it, you see right there that even if he does block him, you see that our outside quarter is going to be able to rally down and stop this for no gain. So that is a huge, huge deal on this where if this guy's up in the press alignment, he can actually impact the play by making Megatron block him, which is going to free up Ronnie Lott. Or if he brought blocks Ronnie Lott, he's going to be in a spot where he can make contact at the line of scrimmage to be able to stop this pretty easily. So that is kind of the two ways that you guys can run a zone setup with this and make it really work for you. Now, you guys also will have the ability to run a different adjustment with this and this is individual man so what i'm going to do here i'm going to call any zone play we want let's go ahead and call cover three again with this i'm not a big fan of baseline uh because this player that is in tight is close enough to the box that it can be really annoying so i'm going to man up the bubble player and I'm gonna back up. But again, he's lined up over the Y receiver, so we wanna make sure we're backing off of Y, not B. The problem is because he's so close to the box, he is faked out sometimes by the play fake, but if he's not, he's gonna be able to make a play in the flat. Uh, again, not gonna be blocked because he's in an off alignment. A lot of players think, oh, I gotta press against the bubbles. No, you wanna back off because it makes it harder for those blockers to handle you. So again, if you wanna run zone, you can go ahead and on baseline if you want. You still will want to man up B, still wanna individually back off. That's something that's up to you. But if you want me to be totally honest, if you are gonna stay base aligned, just make sure that you are manning up that flat defender on B backing off of the middle receiver that usually is enough to make sure he doesn't get fooled by the play fake it makes him a much more challenging block again sometimes you're going to be able to get the ball out to the perimeter press down on that outside corner to get a little bit better support or you know at the end of the day just take your medicine make sure you're not base aligned if you want to get better numbers in the box you can always move guys down but this will help significantly because what this will allow you to do is again play that hard flat back off of the middle receiver 
and you should be fine on this. Now, at this point, they're probably not as eager to run the ball into this front. They're probably going to try to throw the ball out to the perimeter. And then from there, that's going to be a lot more challenging uh, to, to get major consistent yardage. Again, if you want to press that corner down on the outside, that's really going to unlock this where that guy's going to flow free to the football pretty consistently out there in the flat. But this will help you guys out significantly. I am a big fan of the quarters at the beginning. You saw here at the tail end, the cover three was a little bit less consistent. Get those outside quarters involved. They drop a little bit more slow than outside thirds. That's gonna help you guys out consistently as well with this. But I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out our YouTube short later this afternoon, or we'll be back tomorrow with another full length tutorial video. Until then, this is Ann. Get the lab in, good luck.